to Jen Beauty. My name is Jennifer and here on my channel I like to chat about all things beauty and makeup and today I have another episode of Shop My Stash. My last Shop My Stash went up incredibly late. Like I filmed it, I used my makeup, and I don't know why but it took me forever to edit and upload it. I mean I know why but like I could have found time between work and feeling like I was on my deathbed, but I didn't. So um, I mentioned in my Ipsy Glam Bag unboxing that I am getting a new vanity. So in preparation for that, I have packed up everything behind me. And if I edit that part out, now you're finding out about it. So my background's gonna look a little bit different, but that also means that my shop, my stash is going to be a little bit different. Not terrible, but um, I have already picked out the palettes that I'm going to use over the next few weeks that will go in my everyday makeup drawer. Um, but that's not a big deal because I typically will do reviews of my palettes and like a monthly palette ranking and kind of like give my thoughts on that. And I try not to do too much of that in these videos, but sometimes I get really distracted. If you're not familiar with Shop My Stash, because when I first heard about it, for some reason, I thought that I got to shop someone else's stash. <laughs> And I was so confused by the concept. But when you have a larger collection, you can kind of get overwhelmed with your choices um, every day. I know that's such a first world problem to have. But I like to shop my stash and kind of pick out what I want to use for the next like two to four weeks. I'm, I'm not like hard and steady on a schedule. I probably should be, but sometimes life happens and you just can't. So you pick out your items that you want to kind of like focus on. It could be new things you want to try out, older things that you think need more love. For me, um, I have my like section of my drawer that is all of my project pan items. And then in addition to that, I have started to pull in a couple of items that I want to get at least seven uses on. So I'm kind of using my shop, my stash as like a project seven uses. Most people do project 10 uses, but not me. I'm doing lucky number seven. Uh, the reason for this is because if there's 14 days in a two week period for shop, my stash, um, then I would like to use it at least half of that time. So I may only do my makeup 10 times, and if that's the case, I better have used that seven times. Um, so in theory, I should be able to rotate those items out each time I shop, if I'm shopping every two weeks. Um, but if I'm not doing that, and I find I go like two updates with still not having enough use on it, that may be a product I need to consider decluttering. Like, is it maybe the wrong season and I just didn't roll it in at like the right time? Do I have too much other stuff and project pans that are too similar to it? Or do I just really not love the product anymore? Like all of those are viable things. So um, the way I do my shop, my stash video format is typically I will review like what was in my drawer before and kind of give like a quick like speed review rundown on things and then um we go shopping together like i'll take you along with me and we can look at my collection and um i will pick things out if you don't see me pick something out it's typically because i have it in a project already and I don't usually show those things because I don't want to give away any spoilers on future updates. Well, that was way too long of an intro, but we're just going to roll with it. So the first item from my last round was this Pure Fair Light palette. And this is um, a translucent powder, a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter. Okay. On my skin, this is not a translucent powder. I did drop the 
whole thing and the shade like shattered completely but even before it shattered <laughs> this was not a translucent powder on me it leans like I don't, even, I don't know if you can see it here because it's so dark in my room right now because it's dark outside and I don't have my whole setup hanging up right now but um I do like to use it to set my eyes my eyeshadow primer that's the word um, I really like this bronzer shade and I like this blush shade. This highlighter is a little too deep for me, so I, I honestly have been kind of avoiding it. If I get use out of these three, I'm happy with that, but um, I did start unofficially, you know, like I decided this between now and my last Shop My Stash video. Um, so I used this eight times, so I officially, unofficially made seven times so I can roll this out of my drawer and pick out a different base palette. Alright, so face palettes rolling out. Um, I did pull in this ColourPop highlighter and Beach Party from the Barbie ColourPop collab and um, I didn't have any usage goal on it. I just wanted to get use on it and <laughs> I accidentally dug my finger in over there, but here I actually hit a very small, tiny, tiny pan. So not a very big pan, but in any case, um, I think I am going to want to put this in a project over the next year to like really expand the pan or possibly even finish it by the end of next year. So I just wanted to get a head start on it and make sure I still felt the same way about the formula. And I do, I love it. I love the shade. So this can roll out of my drawer. And then I pulled in the J-Cat Beauty Love Struck Blusher and Bronzer in the shade 108 Sweetheart. I really do like this. You know, I'm being awful and not really giving you any swatches mainly because I'm not really sure what will show up. Um, so this is like a really beautiful peachy shade and I really enjoyed having it in my collection and in my drawer. Um, it doesn't really take the place of a bronzer for me. Like I still have to use a bronzer with it, but um, I like it. I, I like the like tone. It's it's not too like bright. I don't know. Um, not sure if you can see the color. Yeah, there it is. The ColourPop highlighter is just kind of like a glowy hmm, version of my skin, maybe with a little bit of gold on it. And then I have the ColourPop highlighter in Vogue. And this is a pressed powder blush. Did I say highlighter? It's definitely a blush. And um, I've worn off a lot of the flower embossing that was on here, but I don't think I will ever hit pan in it. <laughs> Blushes are so hard to pan. So I like having a like pinky mauve, a peach, I like having a highlighter in here. And then I also brought in the blush in Whole Nine Yards. And this one is a little bit more warm tone pink, but still pink nonetheless. And I'm not even close to wearing off the embossing on this one. It is a bit like deeper and I'm not sure if it's more firm pressed or what, but um, it has like a slight little bit of glimmer to it, but it doesn't really show up like glitter on the cheeks or anything. It's this one right here. So honestly, I bet if you took this and this and mix them together, you would get the whole nine yards. But um, it's just a very nice, like warm up the face kind of pink. And then I brought in the Tarte Park Avenue Princess bronzer um, out of fingers to swatch with. Um, I got a decent amount of use on this. Like I, I'm very satisfied with the amount of use I got on it. I used it probably every other time. It's just this beautiful, like glowy warm. You know what? This is kind of like the kimchi chic 
bronzer I just got. And then I have the J-Cat Priz Metal Chrome Eye Mousse. And I really enjoyed this. This is in the shade Chrome Crusher. It is an absolutely beautiful, um, like, taupey kind of shade. And it is kind of like a, a moussey texture. Like, it's more wet than a Super Shock, if you're familiar with the Super Shocks. Um, <clears throat> but I didn't have any issues with it creasing. And I really enjoyed it. It's like this gorgeous, like glimmery, just absolutely beautiful. Let's see if I can capture that. It's got like a brown taupey base to it. Um, I think I wore it with a couple different palettes. I couldn't even tell you now. And then I have the Tarte Chrome Paint Shadow Pot. In Paradise Found. Okay. I expected this to be more like the, more like this, like more solid. And this is absolutely a like loose product. It's just very finely packed in there. Um, it definitely is very crumbly and falls apart. This one, did I say the shade? This is in the shade Paradise Found. So this is more of like a um, warm champagne color, which warm tones do not look very good on me, um, or I just don't really like them on me. It may be a perceived thing, or they may really look like trash on me. Either way, I don't like them. And number one, these make an awful mess. And number two, I don't care for that shade on me. So I only wore it two times. And this is not something that I have like a seven use goal on or anything. Um, I It has come into my collection a little bit more recently. So I don't feel like I need to start panning it or anything. I just, I want to make sure that I'm getting usage on these products. I'm getting myself familiar with them. So when I do a declutter, I actually know what I'm talking about with some of these things and I don't have to keep saying, well, this is new and I've never used it or this is older in my collection, but I've never used it um, because I get kind of like stuck on being safe sometimes and just using the products I know. Um, I always keep my e.l.f. putty blushes and um, I moved the bronzers into the same organizer. I always keep these in my everyday makeup drawer. Um, it just makes it easier for me, one, organization wise, and two, to make sure that I'm reaching for at least one of them each week. I'm an idiot and I bought almost all of them at the same time, so it's not like there's one that's really old that I need to start panning. I just want to make sure I'm getting use on them on a consistent basis. Um, the shade Feeling Shady, this is more of a cool contour shade. And then Tan Lines is more of a warm, like true bronzy shade. And so I have a decent dip going in this one. I don't have as much usage on Feeling Shady, but um, I accidentally bought Feeling Shady first, thinking it was this one that I was purchasing. My bad. I'll get used out of both of them, it's okay. Sometimes there are bronzers that go on like way too warm and I need to cool them down a little bit or sometimes I do wanna contour, just depends on the day. And then for, um, oh, highlighter. I also have the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in Be My Highlight, number 10. This is, okay. This may be like an issue of style, like makeup style. I like more of like a, like very obvious, it's on your face highlighter, at least when you turn your, your face. I like it to be obvious. This is more of like a just like no makeup, makeup, glow from within. 
just barely a shimmer. And so this is it swatched, which is kind of light, but when you apply it, you know, like you do regular highlighter with like a more fluffy brush, it really shears out. And so it's just not, it's not noticeable hardly at all. It's just a little something to give your face just like a little shimmer, a little, a little glow. I don't find it last like super long on me though. So if I wanted like even just a little glow and I wanted it for like the day, um, it's not going to last that long on me. In addition to that, it is a, so it says it's a baked highlighter powder. But I find this to be very powdery when you use a brush with it. I've tried using a like fluffier brush, a firmer brush, you know, it doesn't matter what it is. I find it to be very powdery and I don't super love a very powdery highlight product, but I wanted to put it in my shop, my stash to see like it was on a faves and fails and it was a fail. And so I wanted to see if I still felt that way about it and get more use out of it. And um, it's definitely on the chopping block <laughs> to be decluttered at the end of this year. We'll see. For Super Shocks, I brought in um, my two Tinkerbell ones. There's Never Grow Up and Fly to Your Heart. This one is a lighter, more glittery pink with heart, not a lot of base or no base pigment to it. And then this one is a darker pink with a base pigment to it. These are both very beautiful. I really enjoyed having them in my drawer and getting to know them better. And then um, I brought in a little quirky, but I forgot that I have um, Ritz in a project pan and they're a lot similar, a lot similar. They're very similar to each other in that they're both like kind of a little like tan brown base. Now Ritz is a lot more cool toned and then this one is more neutral to warm. But um, so I didn't really get any use on this and I'm okay with that. So I'm going to pull it out and pick something else. And then I think for the rest of the year, I'll just leave Tassel in my drawer because it's just a white, it's like a white base with a white glitter. And it is one of the oldest Super Shocks in my collection. I, actually, it is the oldest along with its brother and sister. The <laughs> There's like a black one. There's one or two others that go with this. I know for sure one of them is like a true silver. But um, being that I've stuck my grimy hands in this quite a bit, I'm okay leaving it in the drawer as like a neutral inner corner highlight. So the ones that I have this red washi tape on are the ones that I'm trying to do like project seven uses on. This is a ColourPop Lippy Sticks in the shade Brink. And then this is a ColourPop Lux Velvet Lip in the shade Genie. And I just figured out last night that, um, last night that I can use these Lux lips as a cream blush and they dry down. So this one is not as pigmented as the other one I tried it out with, but um, they do dry down to more of like a powdery velvet feeling. And so I think I may get some uses out of them that way. But in any case, I don't need another liquid lip or a lippy stick in my drawer this round. I have the Hello Kitty um, Tropa Cutie. Glimmering, no. What are you? Glowing lip. <laughs> the Hello Kitty Glowing Lip in Tropic Cutie. Um, I don't think I used this even once. And if I did, it was literally one time. It is just not the right season for this. This is definitely a summer shade. I am really hoping that these Hello Kitty ones hang on to next summer because that is one I definitely think I will find myself wanting to reach for them the most. But 
periodically I will definitely give them the smell test and see if they're starting to go and if they are I'm going to start painting them hardcore and just wearing them around the house because I really like them but um really don't want them to go anywhere and then I have the Star Wars Colourpop this was a lip gloss of some sort Lux gloss in the shade Elite. And this is like a purpley, glittery gloss. When I first tried ColourPop's lip products, I really liked them. I really liked the um, Velvet formula. And I, I thought that I liked the Lux lip gloss. I don't know if the formula was like reformulated, if the formula changed, or if my taste changed. But in any case, it's definitely not a favorite anymore. Um, honestly, between this and the Wet n Wild gloss I have in the shade Gemini, I'd much rather pick the Wet n Wild gloss. Um, it's also kind of like a purpley glittery shade and I would pick that one over this one any day. So this is probably going to be a hate pan if I pan it, but for right now, it's just going out of my drawer. Two more things and then we're going to go shopping. I have the Milani Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush in the shade 120 Pink Flirt. Really like this formula, really enjoyed it. And then I have the Flower Beauty um, Blush Balm in the shade Nectar. And I thought I hated this, but I actually think I like it, especially for fall. So um, since I started tracking, I only got one use on it. I'm pretty sure I used this about three times since the last shot my stash, but I am more than happy to get the additional usage on it and use it six more times before the next round. So let's go shopping. Okay, I'm going to try not to mess this up this time and forget a bunch of crap, but I'm trying to see what I might want. So I think I'm going to pull in this palette of blush singles and highlighter singles for my face palette. They're mostly, um, the ones on the left are Makeup Geek and the ones on the right are Sydney Grace. So I'm gonna pull those in because I like the warmer tones for fall. Okay, hopefully you can see everything. Um, I, I try to set it up on my desk so that you can see and I don't bounce you around too much. I don't want anyone getting seasick, just shopping for stuff with me. So for cream blush, um, I think I'm gonna pull in my ColourPop ones. These are my oldest in my collection. Whoops, these are the oldest in my collection. So I have the shade Mini Me, Pretty Thing, and 25.8. So I'll pull all three of those in. Um, and then if I need a different cream blush option, which I doubt I will, um, I have all of my e.l.f. ones in my drawer. And then, let's see. I don't think I wanna work on a cream bronzer or highlighter this round. So let's go down to powder products. So for powder bronzer, oh shoot, um, powder bronzer, I'm going to pull in the Kim Chi Chic bronzer that I just got, and I'm actually going to try to do the seven uses on this. Um, I feel like that's enough to get my thoughts on it. And then for powder blush, um... I feel like I have one missing here. Oh, I do. It's right here in the wrong place. My bad. <sighs> okay. I need something cooler toned for sure. So. Okay. 
I'm going to go with the Flower Beauty blush in the shade Sweet Pea. Oh my gosh. Open. This is more of a like cooler mauve tone blush. Yeah. I'll go with that one. And then I'm also going to pull in the shade Warm Hibiscus. Oh, wrong way, Jennifer. Sometimes I like to layer those together. And then for highlighter. Um, I think I want to choose two different highlighters this round. You know what? I want to pull in this Araceli highlighter. I got this in an Ipsy, but I think it's going to be really pretty. We'll see. And then... I don't want to do two new highlighters. I ha oh, I have some in that face palette, so I'm not going to pull any more of those. So let's go over to lips. Okay, for lips. I'm like gravitating towards cooler tones for some reason. Um... I don't need another liquid lip, but I do want to pull in a bullet lipstick. Um, let's see, do I want Ariel? I don't think I really have a lot of use on this one, if any. Ooh, that's pretty. Um, my lighting back here sucks really bad. I'm going to pull in Ariel to get some more use on it, maybe. <laughs> and I, for some reason, every time I come over here, I am so drawn to Charming from Essence. So I'm going to pull that one in too. That's it for those. I don't need a liquid lip. Um, for lip gloss, I'm going to pull in the This Is Milky Gloss in the shade Milk and Honey. This is kind of newer to me this year, but um, nothing wrong with getting some usage on it. I was gonna start pulling in an e.l.f. palette each round since these are very neglected. No, I'm almost done. I'm just gonna, yeah, here. Callie is gonna pick one out. Close your eyes. Yay, a blue one. <laughs> uh, she picked out, I say you. I hate this one so much. All right, I, I'm going to make her pick again so it's one I don't have my thoughts on yet. Okay. From back here. All right, this is from the Duncan collab. This is Strawberry Frosted with Sprinkles, which I heard these really sucked, but I'm gonna give it a shot anyway and see what I think. I forgot to pick out Super Shocks, but I'm just gonna have Callie pick some out for me okay. since she has joined us late. All right, go pick out some Super Shock shadows. I don't need anything white here. or brown. Here. Yeah, okay. and nothing from the top. Um, like two. Okay. Here's some hard Well, I don't want to give you too hard of a time, so. All right, so Callie picked out some stuff for me. She picked out the Super Shock Shadow in the shade Frisky. And I was telling you earlier that Tassel is one of the oldest ones in my collection. And th this was received at the same time as Tassel. So it's good to be working on it. And also I love black. So nice choice, Callie Anna. And then she also picked the shade Ripple for me, which is a gorgeous like magenta. pink, purple, yeah, magenta flip to it. I love it. It's one of my favorites, although you can't tell because I haven't used it that much. 
I want to say I had two of them at one point. Um, and then she also picked up a little something fun and she picked the J Cat Beauty Pros Metal in the shade Rose all day. I really enjoyed the one that we just put away. So I'm more than happy to play with this one. I have a feeling I'm going to like it as much as the last one. So I'm putting these away in just a second. We will go over the palettes and I'll show you like a little tour of the drawer. All right, I don't know where I was exactly because my battery died, but I'm pretty sure I left off that I needed to go over the palettes and then show you what's in the drawer. My daughter helped me pick out the Strawberry Frosted with Sprinkles palette from e.l.f. I've never used it before. I'm trying to make sure I incorporate one of these in each Shop My Stash or at least one a month because I don't really reach for them. And if I find myself hating that, I'm just gonna declutter all but like the, the couple that I know for sure I love. And then I also picked the BH Cosmetics Smitten in Switzerland. And this is brand new, never been used. I'm very excited. I've been saving this for fall because it just has like the fall tones, the grunge, the cozy feeling. And then um, I also saved the Drop Dead Gorgeous Little Bit Psycho from BH Cosmetics. I think I used like one shadow out of this for my 4th of July look that I did. I needed like a true red. And then I also pulled the Milani um, Haunted Hollow. My husband got me both of these. I don't even like Halloween that much, which I know is so blasphemous to say, especially in the YouTube community, because so many people love everything spooky. And let me tell you, I do not begrudge anyone the excitement and joy of Halloween. And I do love seeing my kids have fun during Halloween, but I have a child with severe anxiety and um, they do not enjoy <laughs> the spooky stuff in Halloween. So it also gives me some anxiety that they have anxiety. Anyways, um, I also pulled out the Temptalia, Sydney, the Sydney Grace Temptalia um, on the Horizon collab and I have the light version. I love this artwork on the front and then this color story is absolutely gorgeous. It is actually what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. Um, I'm actually wearing it in addition to the Alexandrite cream shadow from Sydney Grace. And then I have my build your own palette from my singles and I built like a more fall color story for myself and on a go forward I'm going to be tracking how many uses I get out of the palette as a whole. I'm not going to track individual shades because that ends up being like really stressful for me because then I feel like I have to do like no pan left behind and anyways I, I'll be able to tell which shades I use more than others just based on how they're looking at the end of it but I want to build myself a palette out of my singles each um season. And so I've used this two times since I started tracking and I've really been enjoying it. And then I also have the Lethal Cosmetics Night Flower Palette. Oh, she's so pretty. Um, I have not used this beauty yet, but I cannot wait to the only thing I don't enjoy about these palettes from Lethal, which they did update with their, I think it was like Game Up. I can't remember the name of it. Um, is their shades are not on the back and they're not in here. 
and they're not even on like the shadow protector which I don't typically save anyways but they are here on the back so not my favorite but I feel like they have heard that feedback and kind of possibly are going to implement a change going forward. Anywho, then I have the Hocus Pocus Gather Round Sisters palette. And this is the original Hocus Pocus collab. And I didn't really like the color story of the Hocus Pocus palette from last year. And then the Hocus Pocus 2, it was like... I've not even seen the movie, so I don't know that I need merchandise from the movie yet. Um, I am happy to see that they did do the collab while it's actually relevant, you know, but I'm not sure that it's something that I need and um, trying to be really mindful of the things that I purchase from ColourPop and just make sure that they are, sorry, I went and laid with my daughter in her bed, so my hair's all jacked up now. Not that it was great before, but it was really bothering me. So I'm trying to be more mindful of the things that I purchase from ColourPop going forward and making sure that it's something that I really, really, really want and would keep in my collection long term and also is kind of unique to my collection. And then I have the BH Cosmetics Lunar New Year. This one is the 2022 edit. And this one also feel, feels very like fall vibey to me. So I really appreciate you taking your time out of your day to join me and shop my stash with me. It's always nice to have company along for the ride. So if you like this video, I hope you'll give it a big thumbs up. And if you would like to see more makeup and beauty content from me, hit that subscribe button and I'll have more coming at you. I hope wherever you are, you have a wonderful day. Bye.